this video is about the uh, minors and the cofactors that are very important concepts in finding the inverse of a matrix or the division of two matrices. So minors as the name goes are some smaller part of the original matrix and cofactors will be related factors that are related in one way or the other. So determinant is something we have already found. From that we can find the minor and the cofactor. So if this is a determinant that is 3 into 3 order, these will be the minors. And you can see the minors are simply the remaining sub determinants once we choose a certain row or column. So we have chosen the first row in which a 1 1 is there. So we drop its row and its column. So we are left with this uh, 2 into 2 sub determinant. And that 2 into 2 sub determinant will be known as the minor. And in the subscript we have written 1 and 1. It means that the first row and the first column have been dropped. As you can see this row and this column has been already dropped. So M12 will be dropping the first row and the second column. This is the first row and this is the second column. So A21, A23 and A31 and A33 will be the second minor. And in the third minor, with respect to the third element in the first row, we'll drop the first row and third column. So this will be the answer that is this subdeterminant of 2 into 2 order, dropping the first row and the third column. So these are minors. We can easily make the cofactors from these minors, and the formula is here. The cofactor will be identically equal. To the product of these two terms where the second term is the minor and the first term is basically um, a power function in which minus 1 is raised to the power the sum of the rows and columns i and j are representing the rows and columns so let us do this thing here we are this was the determinant and this is the second minor uh, and then there is another minor so we can find a number of minors uh, and just as a rule we know that we can find minors that are equal to the number of the members of the matrix. A minor with respect to A1, a minor with respect to A33, a minor with respect to A31, a minor with respect to A13, a minor with respect to A22. So this, these are the possibilities, but when we uh, usually do this, we have uh, three of them, uh, as we have just done, three of them, but we can find it for uh, all of the members of the matrix. So we have chosen two of these uh, possible minors, that is A21, M21 and M22. For uh, M22, for example, second row, and second column. So the members on the vertices will be selected and A11, A13, A31 and A33. Now how can I find the um, the cofactors? It is easy. I already know about the formula. I just need to put the values for C21, uh, 2 and 1 will be added with a minus 1 term in the base and M21 will remain as it is and it will be in the product. Now we have uh, this result because the power will be a, an odd number due to which minus sign will be retained and this minus sign will appear here. And then we have C22 and it is equal to this uh, solution and you can pause the video and see this simple substitution and finding. So the, the observation is that if we have a cofactor that has even and odd um, digits in the order or in the subscript, the sign will be negative. And if both of them are uh, in such a way that the sum becomes even, then the answer would be the same as the minor because C22 is directly equal to M22. 
whereas C21 is negative of the M21. So this is a hack that if the sum of the parts or the rows and columns is odd then there will be a negative sign and if the two are the same then there will be a positive sign. So this is the connection between cofactors and minors. Here an example is done that this is the minor M32 third row and second column. So it will be 6, 8 and 4, 3. 6, 8 and 4, 3. So it is the same. Now we can find the cofactor easily. The answer of minor is minus 14. So minus 1 into raised, uh, raised to the power row plus column. There are two rows and three columns. And then we multiply it with the minor which is minus 14. We get plus 14. So in this case the cofactor is negative of the minor. This is why the negative sign of the minor is now disappeared. So this is how the cofactors are created with the help of minors and minors are also explained that are basically the subdeterminants once we drop the related row and related column of that member. Now the next thing which is related to the cofactors is the adjoint of a matrix. It is used in the calculation of A inverse or the division of um, two matrices or the reciprocal of a matrix. So let us try to understand this adjoint of a matrix. If this is the given matrix, we have to calculate the cofactors and place them in their natural position. That is for A11 the answer will be calculated and written here and capital A will represent the cofactor for first row and first columns element and A12 shows the cofactor for the first row and first column the second columns member and A33 is basically residing in the place of A33 that is small a33 and which is the third column in the third row. So the number of uh, cofactors will be equal to the number of uh, members as I have already told you in the previous video of cofactors and minors. So now we have nine cofactors. This is known as the adjugate matrix. But this is not what we are looking for. We are looking for the adjoint of the matrix. So we have to do one small thing and that is to transpose this adjugate matrix. As you can see A11, A21, A31 it is now in the row. So the columns have been converted into rows or equally you can do the uh, reciprocation by converting the rows into columns. So that is another possibility. But the answer will be the same. Now we have this transpose of the adjugate matrix and this is known as the adjoint matrix. So this is how we can calculate the adjoint matrix symbolically. Now we have a numerical example. This is a 3 into 3 order matrix. Primarily we will find the ad, um, cofactors. There will be 9 cofactors for 2 that is small a11. The cofactor is a11. This is also 2 but this is not the same 2 because this will be the um, sub determinant that is the minor and the answer will be 2 that is 3 into 3 minus 7 into 1 that will be 9 and this is uh, a 3 3 which is for this and it is minus 10 so when we drop the third row and the third column I'll be left with this sub determinant or minor the answer of which will be 2 into 3 6 minus 4 into 4 16 so it will be minus 10 and here you can see it is minus 10 so in this way we can calculate all of these uh, cofactors and they are substituted minus 10 into play in the place of a33 and in place of a11 we have the value of 2 so this will become the adjugate matrix that we have calculated on the basis of cofactors 
but this is not what we are looking for we are looking for the adjoint and for the adjoint of a matrix we transpose this matrix of adjugate nature and this is the uh, result as you can see 2 minus 11 and 25 now are in the first row instead of first column so converting rows into columns or converting columns into rows will give us the uh, transpose and the transpose of the adjugate matrix will give us the adjoint of a matrix which is very useful when it comes to the calculation of a inverse or quotient of the two matrices so this video was about calculating the adjoint of a matrix and in this video we also learnt about the minors and cofactors of a matrix now we are in a position to find out the a inverse and we will do this in the next video